Hello, this is Ben Masonheimer with Silver Seas Yachts and today I'm going to walk you through a new listing. This is a 2018 Tierra 3100 Coronet. It's in San Diego, California and it's a six month, seven month old boat and the owner has decided to go to a bigger boat so they've placed it on the market. It's still under warranty for a couple years and just a great boat overall. About 83 hours on it and very well equipped for our market. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here she is, 2018 Tierra 3100 Coronet. Here at the bow, we have a Lumar polished anchor. Under the deck hatch here, we have a Lumar windlass and uh, windlass controls to bring it up from the bow. Great bow rails, nice great height there, and very classic looking. Great walkways down the side with handholds integrated into the hardtop uh, for safety as you're coming forward. She has a flag blue paint job and a factory special red bootstripe. Standard on this boat would have been a white bootstripe. Here at the transom we have a 40 inch swim platform with an integrated swim ladder in the center. Here's our cockpit. The outdoor cockpit area, helm area, has a very very high-end JL audio stereo system with 10 inch subwoofer. Sounds amazing. Um, some other special features on this boat there was about a $3,000 upgrade to come up to this very soft, very nice um, ultra leather fabric and it has a custom blue stitch with blue piping as well. We have a uh, seagrass carpeting down on the floor. We have storage underneath all of these seats here. And we have this teak table that goes high and low. When it's down, you can put a cushion that comes with the boat on top of it and it connects these two areas and makes a great layout area. You can also fold it open and run it like this. Cup holders everywhere and you have the make fast sun awning that's automatically retractable. You have eyes and glass windows on either side that you can remove and those store here in this mesh um, storage pouch for them. There's also drop curtains, three of them, they come across the back and the center one you can unzip it and because there's two tracks the center one is on its own track it slides all the way you can go inside and then reclose it behind you. Here's our wet bar area we have a great refrigerator and these things work really well you have to watch out that you don't freeze your drinks. We have the wet bar sink and then you have your barbecue here this is a Kenyan electric barbecue. Here's our helm companion area, storage underneath all of the seats, and you have this beautiful removable teak table. Here at the helm we have a dual adjustable helm seat that can come fore and aft, has a large storage compartment underneath it. Okay, we have the 17.5 inch teak destroyer wheel. We have our bow thruster controls, and this is a very powerful bow thruster. This boat is very easy to control with these classic um, shifting style. I know a lot of boats nowadays have digital shifters and whatnot and these um, you know this is the classic way of doing things shifters on one side throttles on the other but because of the width of the boat it's very easy to maneuver with just using the shifters to park it. We have all of our switches for various things and then we have the Garmin 7612 system here with Garmin autopilot and we have the Garmin um, VHF radio. Video gauges again the boat has about 83 hours on it and a compass up above. Now if you look here, this is a sunroof. It's manually opening and it opens quite a ways. Very nice option. You also have a windshield vent that opens up. You push a button here at the helm that opens up and gives you a nice breeze. You have windshield wipers and windshield washers as well. Here's your Fusion um, remote control unit and you have cup holders again in this area. Okay, stepping down into the cabin, we have some nice teak steps and Antigua walnut below that. You have another settee here. This uh, area is air conditioned. This settee goes down and then these cushions here go on top of it and it makes a nice bed. We have some countertop space here, a microwave and another isotherm refrigerator. Here's your air conditioning controls, light controls, outlet. Now on these boats they're plumbed for and wired for a generator but we normally just run the uh, 1800 watt power inverter. Um, so we have our DC panel here, we have our battery switches, over here you have water and black water gauge, and then you have your 120 panel as well. Beautiful teak interior. Here's a hanging locker, it houses this uh, Fusion 
UD750 stereo system and that has Bluetooth. You can control it right from your phone. You have another small DC panel, uh, supplemental manuals for every system in the boat and again, nice cedar lining there. Storage here, Tierra manual, beautifully done headliner in this area. Lots of portholes and uh, port hatch. Storage underneath all of these areas here. And just really, you know, for a boat of this size, it's the biggest 31 footer you'll ever see and beautifully constructed. Here's your head. You have a separate shower with its own little curtain that closes it off. Vacuum flush head, sink, porthole, lots of light. And then you have some towel hooks here on the door and a mirror. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open up the engine hatch. There is a day hatch here under this carpet, so you can just go straight down through that where there's a button in the aft of the boat you can push. And this whole hatch, the whole everything you see here just lifts up and gives you great engine access. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, here in our engine room we have two Crusader 6.0 MPIs. These put out 375 horsepower each and they're based on the modern LS engine from Chevy. Um, they have variable cam timing and they're freshwater cooled. They have a very linear curve on the fuel burn and they get a uh, 1 to 1, 0.9 to 1, uh, right in there over, you know, uh, maybe about half of their RPM range when you're up and going. So very economical and much lighter than the 8.1 liter engine that they replaced. Uh, forward of the port engine, you have some batteries there. There's more batteries here underneath the floorboards. Uh, forward of the uh, port engine as well, you have your um, vacuum pump for the head. And then on the forward bulkhead here, we have the battery charger and fire boy fire suppression system. Here in the deck, we have a hatch. We call that a day hatch for getting in here, checking sea strainers, batteries, everything before you go on a trip if you don't want to lift up this whole deck. So really great engines, just over 80 hours on them. They're under warranty. They're freshwater cooled, they're catalyzed, so there's never any exhaust smell, and um, just a great little package to get you out there on the water.